Did you know that Amazon throws you all the way in the back of the searches when you first launch a product? And in order for you to rank, you actually need sales. But 80% of sales occur among the top 10 sellers on page number one. So you might be wondering, well, how in the hell am I even supposed to do this? In this video, that's exactly what I'm going to share with you. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and also drop your questions in the comment section below because we'd love to make videos about content that you'd like to see from our channel. With that said, let's go ahead and deep dive into the top three steps on how to take your product from page nothing to page one in just a few days. In fact, within about a week is the average student at BJK University is how long it takes them to rank their brand new product. Now, one thing before I get into there, let me give you some context. So what we do is private label, and that's where you take a brand new product that isn't already existent on Amazon, not the niche, but the actual product, but by looking at what already exists on Amazon, and you simply create a differentiation, you add value to what already exists on Amazon. People already go to Amazon to purchase product. In fact, over 53% of all sales that happen online happen on the Amazon platform. So people already are going to Amazon. And what you want to do is you want to find a product niche that a customer is already going to Amazon to find. Usually, we like to find a product that's got search volume of about 5,000 to 20,000 monthly searches. And then what, I, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the top 10 sellers and we're going to create a differentiation to stand out from the competition. That's the very first thing in, in the three-step process is making sure that your product truly stands out from the competition and it actually adds value to the competition uh, or to the niche and to the category. Now, the second thing is going to be the price. The price is super important simply because how you stand up from the competition, although the value is there, but also when you first launch a product, your product is going to simply be nobody, right? Imagine trying to compete with Adidas. If you are going to launch uh, a, a clothing brand or sports clothing brand and gym shoes, your material might be 10 times better than Adidas, but people recognize the brand Adidas. That way they're always going to choose the brand. So. The way your price, your product is very crucial because you're either going to be a high quality, high end product, or you're going to try to compete um, with your competitors with price. I don't suggest that simply because um, it's your competitors, especially if you're going to go in a little more competitive niche, your competitors might be selling three, five, even 800 units every single month and their purchase power from the supplier is much bigger and much stronger. Therefore, they can probably get better prices and they've been in the market for a lot longer than you have. So I would always try to be either at the middle or even superior and try to offer more than everybody else is offering. Now, one thing you have to understand is that offering more doesn't always mean adding more things to your product, meaning I offer this thing and I offer that thing and I offer that thing and I package them all together. That's not always the answer, although that sometimes is the answer, but we have another video about this uh, topic inside of our channel where we talk about how to stand out from the competition and how to create differentiation. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to learn directly from BJK University, want us to walk you through how the entire process looks like, click the link below this video where there's a, a short presentation that shows you how BJK University can help you, and then you can book a call to chat with one of our enrollment advisors. Now, the third process and the third step that I want to go into is the actual launch of the product, and this one third step actually has three different steps. So the very first thing, just to recap before we go into the first step is making sure that your product stands out from the competition and that it adds value to the current niche. Number two is making sure that your price is right and that it's competitive with everybody else. You either, you never want to go to the lowest end. You either want to be very superior or you want to be right in the middle. And then the third thing is going to be the launch of your product. Now, the launch is very important and I've seen it more often than not. People launch or people find a great product, differentiate it correctly, 
do the listing, do the photography, do everything, and then just simply miss the launch completely. One thing you have to understand is that when you list a product on Amazon, your product is going to get thrown all the way in the back of the searches. And in order for you to rank to the top of the pages, you have to generate sales. And 80% of sales occur among the top 10 sellers on page number one. So how are you going to get eyeballs on your product to get it from the last page to the front page when really all sales happen on the front page? And because without sales, you cannot rank. Well, the very first thing of step three is PPC campaigns. And those are simply pay-per-click advertising campaigns where you pay Amazon a specific amount and you tell them, I want you to take my product and show it to people that are searching for X keywords. Now, with PPC campaigns, there are two different categories. There are, exact, um, there are manual campaigns and there are automatic campaigns. The automatic campaigns, it's simply where you say, Amazon, here is $10 or here is $20 per day. And I want you to go out there and find any customer according to your knowledge from your data that is looking for my product. And then Amazon will just simply do that. Any customer that's looking for a specific keyword that they feel is relevant to your product, they will show your product for. And then also what, you know, different, you know, what determines whether your product shows or my product or someone else's product is how much we're bidding per click. The more we bid, the more you know, often that our product can show. The second set of uh, campaigns is manual campaigns. And that's where you actually take a set of keywords after doing keyword farming and you tell Amazon, I believe that my potential customers are going to be using these keywords to find my product. So I want you to bid, I want, I want to spend say a dollar 25 per click um, every time someone searches this keyword and clicks on my product. And that's where you can show your product to your potential customers. And where, when your customers click on these, you know, find your product under these um, advertisement campaigns uh, on page one or page two or page three, and they click on your listing and then they purchase, those are considered as sales. And now you're gonna start ranking for those specific keywords. Now, it's very important that you, when you first launch your product, you launch it in the very first one, or two weeks of it becoming live on Amazon because Amazon has this thing called the honeymoon period where they rank you further and higher and faster than they would regularly. For instance, if you are on page five and in order for you to go from page five to page one, you need to generate five sales over a five day period regularly. During the honeymoon period, you can, launch, you can scale from the same five, fifth page to the first page in five days, but with only two sales per day, right? So because the way that Amazon thinks is their thing is we are always focused on the customer. We want the customer to get the best product possible. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that um, we give the new product a chance to prove itself. And if it's a great product, more and more people are gonna buy it. And if people buy it, then it's just a feedback loop. They're gonna skip, you know, they're gonna keep organically ranking and it's gonna stay there. But if the customer does not like it, they're not gonna buy it. Therefore, the ranking is going to drop, right? So that's the second part of the third part. And then the last part is making sure that your product has reviews, right? So it's very important when you first launch a brand new product, your product is gonna have zero reviews. And again, if you're competing against competitors that have 50, 100, 200, 500 reviews, and say you're selling for the same price and your products are similar, any customer with a half brain will probably go for the product that has multiple reviews just simply because it's credibility. They know that more people have purchased that product and more people, you know, that product is trusted. And that's why it goes back to the first thing, which is making sure that your product is differentiated very well and also adds value to the niche so that even if your, your potential customer is comparing your product that's the same price or even a higher price to another competitor that's got a lot more reviews, your product is just so much more valuable that the customer's like, you know what? Although this one has one review and this one has 100 reviews, although this is selling for 50 and this is selling for 40, I'm still gonna go for this just simply because the value is just amazing and that's where number one is super important, making sure that if you, know, if, if, number, if you get number one very, if you get it right and then you do you know, some PPC campaigns, your product will rank to the top of the pages in no time, but most importantly, stay there.
Because that's the other hurdle that I've seen oftentimes is that products will rank to the top of the pages, but then they just simply will not, you know, will not stay there just simply because either the price is not done correctly, the listing is not done correctly because of the photos or just someone took them with their uh, cell phone um, or it's not priced correctly, right? So all those things really together come to uh, making a great listing and essentially succeeding with your product. So let's go ahead and recap exactly what we talked about in this video. But before I do that, again, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing as we drop brand new content every single week. So the very first and important, most important thing is making sure that your product is very well differentiated and it stands out from the competition. Number two is priced correctly. I would not you know, go on a war with the lowest price because your competitors will always beat you. I would almost choose to be the superior, but not just by charging more, but by offering more and more value, not more things in the bundle, right? And then number three, making sure that you create what is called a PPC campaigns or what you create, you know, create what is called a launch, in fact. And then under number three, there are three things. Number one is PPC campaigns. Number two, it's going to be making sure that your product has at least a couple of reviews when you launch. And number three is giveaways. And that's something that I'm going to keep for another day where we'll cover in an entire video that we just talk about giveaways because that's a topic that I need to spend a minimum of 30 minutes on. Without any further ado, if you enjoyed this video, again, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn directly from BJK University, click the link below this video to check it out. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.